645 on this great Friday. We're celebrating a central Georgia school going above and beyond in the classroom. Caitlin, our morning reporter TJ Anthony is live in studio with this week's school of the week. So drum roll. Who is it TJ? Look, so we all know many people go through go through school scared of math. Well, Jones County High School introduced a new math initiative to get their students engaged in the subject and not afraid of what the numbers may bring. I just love how like it's so simple, like you just have to have a calculator, have your brain and a piece of paper. Deasia Farley, a ninth grader at Jones County High School, loves a subject that not many others do, math. Yeah, graphing and solving equations, that's my favorite. A big difference in Farley's journey with math, starting high school with Jones County's new initiative for math, building thinking classrooms. And the concept behind this was derived from our administrators and our teachers getting together and kind of coming up with a list of reasons why across the nation math has been on a decline and why it has become harder and harder for students to be successful in the math classroom. Alicia Gordon, the math specialist, says they learned the common step-by-step -step process many of us all learned isn't the best way for all students to learn the subject. So they're working to get students to think through problems more. The idea is to get the kids up, to get the kids moving, and to get them thinking and using what they know to help figure out new information without us giving them step-by-step -step scripts. Math teacher Andrea Green says one way they're doing that by breaking down a problem starting from the answer all the way to the question. Instead of telling the kids this is how you get to your solution, we told them what the answer was and gave them a problem to figure out how to get there. Can you figure out the steps that would get you to these answers? Since whiteboards are placed around the classes, now teachers can see which students need some guidance to help them along the way. Tell me why on number two you made that line go up. For students like Farley, they're enjoying this new way of learning. Yes. It's just the way that my teacher breaks it down for me. That is awesome. Now the math specialist told me they've actually seen growth with some students because of the initiative. And students also participate in groups more so they can work through the problems as a group instead of just individually.